is the MTX basket rear with fixer six. It's from Topeak. It's a rear basket that I hope to have mounted to the back of my Rad Rover electric bicycle. Um, the reason I felt I needed such a thing was at times I wanted to be transporting uh, flat objects um, or a coffee tray. And I'm hoping that that just kind of sits in the bed of this. So um, there were a lot of mixed reviews on this rack, on this um, basket. Uh, it has a lot to do with the seat position and I can already tell it might be an issue for me. So we're gonna see how that works. Um, I'm also looking to use this on multiple different bikes. So we're gonna see how that looks as well. So let's take a look at this. So just first on this packaging, you obviously have to make sure this piece here is attached. Um, if you're buying it, that says it comes with the Fixer 6. So it has to come with this. And then I've seen this before in the stores. You have this other package here that's kind of loosely thrown in here. And uh, you know, this was just in the bag. I don't know how it stays attached, but. Okay. So there's the track. You know, I really do like this company, but their directions tend to stink. You know, um, these mounting instructions here are very unclear. And I guess that's because they, this is universal. So you don't know if they're mounting to a basket. So you don't see a picture of a basket here. These clips are what keeps, which sandwiches the basket onto this guy. So they are very crucial. So I'm gonna tighten this up now. But now that's mounted to the back, now I'm gonna tighten it. This basket on the back, if you're someone who normally lifts their leg over the back, there's no way you're clearing this. I mean, uh, you know, and then the other issue is gonna be that if I have stuff in this and I have to come through here and I'm, I'm a little bit of a shorter guy, I may not be able to tilt the bike too much to step over that, so. All right, so I just went for a little ride and it was, it was close. With my back here, this was touching me a little bit, but it wasn't uncomfortable. And if anything, I kind of felt like I was securing this better, but you have this gap in the frame. You know, so I think it's a little odd. You know, of course, the bottom here, here only half of it and I read some other people thought that was odd. Um, and once again, we'll see how that holds up. It has the rail system as well. So I'm definitely already concerned if it's gonna fit, given that I see this is kind of under her seat, which I heard is, could be the issue. So let's we'll, we'll see how this goes. I think she's gonna have to ride it to see. It's, it's a female bike, female fit hybrid fitness bike. Um, it looks pretty big, I have to say, but it should be functional. Um, I gotta get her to try it and see how she feels about this. You know, the other thing I heard about this was that this handle here is a little winky dinky. Um, I think it falls off easily, I can kind of see. It's just a simple wire hanger. You know, it's a bit heavy, I will say. Um, one thing that's odd is that they put these feet here, but this thing doesn't sit level in any way. Okay, we'll try it for a pizza run.
pizza slice, check. Groceries, check. Coffee run, check. Now, I did build this, um, this platform right here. Just a piece of MDF. Painted it to give it a look. Uh, but I, you see, I use these notches in the frame. But this thing still bounces around a lot because of this stupid space right here. So, you, know, you can see it's just bouncy, just me moving it like this. So, um, but it did hold my coffees in place and there and they're double lidded it's the only reason why it's not coffee everywhere um i made these holes too big but i'm using cups 